Hey guys, my name is Stefan Botanist School. Today we're back at it with some Monster Hunter Rise. Now I'm taking a small break from Monster Hunter Rise because when I upgraded like 2.8 on OBS, I lost like two or three recordings and I was so depressed I just couldn't get back to it. So we're back at it now and hey, if you like Monster Hunter Rise, make sure to leave a follow, subscribe, uh, leave a like and tell me in the comments down below what your opinions of these quests are that we'll be doing today. I'd love to hear it. Um, let's get a gathering plants one here, that's easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our collab requests and get those done because we haven't gotten them all done yet. We've gotten quite a few of them done. Um, and I think with this one, yeah, I'm going to be with Dame Fiorain. Um, oh, and I'm going to be with Dame Luchica too. That's going to be fun. I got to hunt a... Uh, I forgot all the names. There's a Bishton, an Anginath, and, Lomb uh, and, and, and a Falco Lombardi. Um, <laughs> there's two of them that are fire and one of them that's ice. So I guess I'm just going to go here and get my standard defense uh, build. Because that's what I basically do. I uh, No, I don't need deflector. Do I need deflector? Ah, nah. Defender. Fire resistance, and I, I like this other defender here because getting both these defenders just really give you some good insurance as a player um, during this game. It's great. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> I'm still getting used to the pro controller. I, I keep missing a few buttons here and there, um, specifically the uh, home button and the plus button. So uh, let's get going. I don't think we need much more than that. Oh, hold on before I forget. Yep, I knew I was going to forget. I should get everything. And I, I'm going to double check my skills because I always forget that. I want the shield charge there. All right, cool. And then let's go. I'd actually realized last time we streamed this, and usually we'll stream it on Monday, but in all reality, I want to kind of work my way up to uh, 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 Master Rank 110 to fight that uh, Camellios there, but um, in all reality, streaming uh, Splatoon 3 isn't taking a lot with streaming, so I've been streaming Monster Hunter a little bit less. I do plan to get more Monster Hunter done, but you know. Look at everyone. That is so cool. I love it. I absolutely love that we're all together. It's great. Do I have subtitles on? Hold on. Do I have subtitles on? I I should have subtitles on. Give me one second. Um, subtitles should be on. Okay. There we go. Let's go. I'm going to, as per the normal, I'm going to get a buttload of these beautiful burb. These beautiful burbs. The burbs are so useful in this game. Like, I do legitimately wonder, like, the people who uh, do not use birds, how do they do it? Because, like, it seems minute, their bonuses, but they, they stack up so much and they're so good. Hmm. I, I I love these uh, burp bonuses. <laughs> I love the little flips I can do. It's just like three people chasing after me like, ah, hello. Hi. Sorry, guys. You're literally my way, Dame Fiorian. I appreciate you, but you were in my way, huh? I do still quite like Fiorian. I actually like all the knights' designs a lot. They did really great. Like, they did really great with all these designs. Oh, hello. Marionette Spider, my favorite, uh, my favorite little spider boy to have here. I like the Marionette Spider a lot. It's really cool. You can just kind of like pull an enemy like I, if we end up fighting in the uh tar pits or the sap pits whatever you call them over there like 
it's so useful just smash enemy into the wall and get them like in that tar pit for an extended period of time get all that damage on them from all three or four allies you have like some people uh it just it's just some monsters are like really good if you just take them down for a bit and really hit them up with that damage it's so useful oh, i like that poison tree too that's really cool uh underutilized by myself i'm being perfectly honest i keep forgetting about it but like when it does get utilized by accident it's like the best Doing great. Good. Great. Boop. thank you and i think i've got enough at this point that i could honestly get going at it like i don't feel like i'm going to be struggling with the, this fight it is just a, like a pretty general story fight kind of deal so i'm not too worried about it if i'm being perfectly honest let's say we start getting over here i'll gather what i can on the way like this, this isn't like a fight against you know risen camellios <laughs> Which I am so excited to do when I can. I haven't even done, um, Scorn Magnamalo yet, which I am excited for as well, but you know. Oh, damn. Already started, huh? Well, let's get going. Come on. Come at me, big boy. Come on. Right up there. Let's go. <laughs> I missed this. There we go. I actually don't know what this. Oh, that was a, that was a bigger number than before. That's for sure. I don't know what this uh, bonus does on here. Like I know it does something. I just don't know what it does. If I'm being perfectly honest, I should. I should actually know what I'm doing when I'm playing this game. But that, that's my secret, Captain. I don't know what I'm doing. I never know what I'm doing, Captain. <laughs> Oop. There we go. Beautiful hits. Listen, no, let's not hurt too bad there, Lujica. We're doing good. We are doing good. There we go. Look at that. Doing some good damage, baby. Stab it right up the butt. <laughs> I like these guys a lot. They, I imagine like I don't remember what their uh, armors look like, but I imagine they'd be like super cute. I remember in GU, the cutest armor I thought of was the cu the cutest armor I thought was very easily the Gameth armor, and I realized a lot of the, like Arctic animals has some of the cuter armors that I do tend to like a lot. Um, I have to say I don't like the other ones because I really do. I just feel like this. Uh, I just feel like these guys have one. I just you know I, I don't know the the Arctic ones have like this really cute like. Arctic aesthetic, you know, big, wooly, uh, kind of lovely little, um, comfortable looking. Yeah, they're just, it's just comfortable. Like, who would have want a really comfortable, furry, wooly coat? Like, I do have actually a very furry, wooly coat, uh, myself that, that I think my, uh, grandfather got back in Germany in the 60s, some oddish. Um, so it's like, 
It ain't like a recent thing. It's like a it's like one of those old wool coats. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the insides was actually falling apart a long, long time ago, uh, until it was replaced. And I I quite like the original insides a lot, so I do miss them. But the new insides are a lot sturdier, if I'm being perfectly honest, right? And that that that's what matters in a way. Let's go. That was the largest one I've ever hunted. I mean, yeah, that was kind of big, huh? That was kind of big, huh? It didn't even run away once. Let's go. That was good. I feel so weird. Just me, just me carving something. They're like, oh, hello. We're here too. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Like, like, uh, shouldn't you be taking this stuff with me, guys? Like, there's, there's good, there's good materials here. Do you want these good materials? <gasps> that is so cool. I love it that Fiorin actually cooked. What? That is adorable. Are you kidding? That's a thing they could do in this game? Oh. Sorry. <laughs> I ended up panicking. Where, where did I get these fireworks? I don't remember where I got these fireworks. Oh, no. There they are. I can't believe you're just like, yeah, yeah, we're still, we're cooking, we're having a great time. Oh, beans. All right, yeah, I should save it for when, uh, for when the dude's like knocked out. Okay, I did not know that. I never used the fireworks thing before. I never used the, uh, I, never, I haven't used a lot of, uh, Palico stuff. I usually use my Palamute, Tarden, who's a good boy. And I love him dearly. I mean, I always name all my companions in some way, shape, and form Tarden. Like, Companion Cube in Portal 2, Tarden. Um, Little Bud in Splatoon 3, Tarden. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're all Tarden. They're all beautiful little Tardens. It actually comes from an old uh, Harvest Moon head cannon I had. There's a character named Reyna or Licorice, depending on which variation of the game you're playing. If you're playing the old Harvest Moon, um, then she's named Reyna. But if you're playing the new Story of Seasons, uh, which is basically the old Harvest Moon, uh, but not by company that that doesn't not care about it, um, then it's Licorice. But uh, there was a character in uh, Another Wonderful Life called Tarden. He was just a lovely, he was a lovely bean. He was a big old, big old, big old, um, big old uh, plant doing plant things, you know. He's just doing his plant things. He combined, it, he actually combined your seeds to give you like tomato grapes or like banana pears or whatever you wanted him to do, really. Uh, he hated carrots, so I, I always had a head can that licorice the botanist or rain of the botanist would just love Tartan and like they'd be best friends. So it's always like, oh, there's Licorice and Tartan now. You know, there's Reyna and Tartan. Or like, um, I know that like Basil, who was a uh, friends of Mineral Town, he's a botanist as well. I feel like he would love Tartan too, but I hadn't played Friends of Mineral Town at that point, And I do know you cannot marry him in that one, which is a little sad. Uh, because his wife is a bit of an a-hole. <laughs> I remember uh, talking to his wife. Uh, I think her name was Anna or something like that. In uh, New Friends in Mineral Town. And she's just like, oh yeah, there's Basil. Completely obsessed with his plant work. And, you know, not, not caring about the family. And it's like, no, this dude has a passion. And he does care about the family. But, like, you just want more attention for yourself. And you also do a lot of the goss, and I feel like she talks bad about her husband in the back, and I'm just like, no, don't do that. <laughs> He's a good man. He's a good plant-loving man. <laughs> Have I just been ranting about my Star, uh, Star Wars? Harvest Moon head cannons here. I have been, huh? I feel like if we just stay here, the, the Anginath will also eventually just get over here. God, it's now looks messed up. 
Christ. That's now looked messed up like no tomorrow. Jesus Christ. I'm not sure if that was like a graphical glitch or if I saw that right because that did not look normal. Or like... <laughs> PETA gets mad at freaking uh, Pokemon but will not talk about Monster Hunter like... Come on, PETA. Step up your game, baby. Oh, they're putting bombs down. Smart, smart, smart. Oh, that's all I needed to do? That's all I needed to do? Okay, that's a lot easier than I thought it would be. That is a lot easier. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. I guess I guess the the big tough thing to fight is going to be, you know, the Anjanath. Which uh makes sense. It does make sense. Actually, this dude's right where I want him, so do we have another Do we have another uh marionette spider somewhere around here? Uh all the way up top left right hand corner. It's a little far. I don't wanna go that far. <laughs> I don't think I've unlocked all the uh I, I definitely have not unlocked. It's very clear I've not unlocked all the little like spots I could go to and stuff. Let's get a poison toad for the road though. Um the little sub camps, I have not unlocked those yet. And I probably should. I probably should if I'm being perfectly honest. No large monsters in the area. It's like ignore the one that's gonna be like ten feet from us in a second, right? I mean, to be fair, she didn't see it, but you know, it's like, yeah, yeah. I missed it. Oh my god. <laughs> I missed it thrice. Oh god. That's embarrassing. What was that? Oh, did this like, little cricket thing attack it? Let's go. That's exciting. I haven't seen those guys before. Like, I've seen the little crabs on, th on the wall on the island. Ma oh my god, wait, are these guys just jumping at it? What the heck just happened? <gasps> oh, these are the little toads! Okay, I've heard about these toads before. Yes, yes, yes. I've never seen them do anything, though. Like, I've always just missed them by accident. That is so cool. What do they do? That is so cool. I love seeing like the little endemic lives that do like action pass. Like, cause here's the thing, right? Flies peeve off. Like butterflies and flies peeve off uh, crocodiles sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no reason why um, there shouldn't be life here that's just kind of like irritating to big animals. But like, with with the work of hunters, they like work together and like they could do like some serious damage. You know what I'm saying? Like, that makes sense ecologically speaking. I'll show you what I'm really proud of. Oh god, it moved. There we go! That was a good setup. I just had to continuously ooh, defend myself a little bit. Let's get some, uh, oh, well, this guy's chasing me. This guy is definitely chasing me. Not a fan of me. This guy is not a fan of me. I wonder if I'll ever have, uh, cause I know monster riders and monster hunters can work together in the monster rider stories or the monster hunter stories, uh, with the riders. I wonder if I'll ever get like a monster rider 
in, in in Monster Hunter. That could be pretty cool. Where like your weapon is mounted riding. Um, maybe it's done a little differently to make it obviously a little more balanced. But like maybe you've got like a uh, a weaker level monster, like a like a uh, like a Yukat like a Yukata Kulu or whatever it's called, right? Uh, instead of an Anjanath. You know, or Rathian or Rathlos, but like that could kind of be really cool. Where you have a, um, you have a like like a small monster or a group of like you, like the um maybe you're able to like charm monsters for a little bit, and you can get some of the small monsters to follow your follow your uh, uh your lead. That could kind of be really cool. Oh my god, that's a cool thing. I mean, that'd probably take a million and. 10 different coding things to do, so I don't think that'll ever happen, but like, that could be a cool play. Mr. Monster, meet Mr. Hi, friend. Oh, that's, that's a me time. There we go. I could have brought him up, huh? I could have brought him to that central area and just like done massive amounts of damage by hitting him into the walls with those things on it. Those like weird butterfly things or jellyfish things or whatever their things they are. I don't know what they are, if I'm being honest. They just kind of look a little like butterflies to me. I don't know. A lot of things look like butterflies though. They aren't butterflies, are they? They certainly are not. I, I think that's the answer. Like, I feel like they're just like... They may even look more like squids now that I'm trying to remember them. It's been a while since I've interacted with them. Uh, <laughs> they might look more like little squ squidlings and octolings. Maybe that's what they are. A Splatoon and Monster Hunter, you know? That could be a fun, uh... That could be a fun thing. Have a, uh... Have a, uh... Light bow gun... Splatoon crossover between Monster Hunter and Splatoon, right? Uh, and the light bow gun shoots... Shoots uh, uh, a shoots like like a paintball instead of actual like and the normal bullets are actually just paintballs and that that could kind of be really cool actually uh, or or heck they have a tri stinger bow now you can do tri stinger bow bring that in you know that I would main that I already main that in Splatoon I would main that in Monster Hunter if they had, if they had the tri stinger in here 100 percent baby. I would 100% made that a monster on it too. There we go. Oh. So I mentioned this when I was hunting with uh, Dame Fiorina and her sister, uh, Rondine, <clears throat> that. At the end, where you get the cool little pose and everyone's like hanging out together, you don't get a picture of both of them, which is really sad. I love, I, I would love if you just had the ending card with everyone in there. That would be awesome, but you only get it with one of them. And that's, uh, that's a little sad just for me. I don't know, like here we are, all three of us are hunting. All three of us should be in the picture, you know? And we aren't. <laughs> it's a little sad to me, I don't know. I, I, yeah, that's that's really it. It's just a little sad to me. Just a little sad to me. And with that, our mission is complete. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Oh wow. What did I get here? Hold on. I got I got something. Got an Anjanath gem. Let's go. I got so much stuff. All right. All right, guys, that's the hunt for me today, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. I know I certainly did. Uh, let's see if I get any, uh, let's see if I got a quick, like, chat with Fiorian or something after this. I'm going to try to post these more often, at least twice a week. Uh, but, you know, your boy dropped the ball on this one. So <laughs> we'll see what we could do getting it back up. Um, I'm, I'm considering, oop, there we go. Let's, let's do this real quick. Let's see. Um, Tear the skies aside. Wait, what? Is this? Wait, wait, what? 
The star of the spare approaches are foretold by ancient tomes. Crimson glow fast. Mm. Oh my god, please allow the order. Oh no. Okay, so that's something I'll take care of on stream because it is a big uh, urgent quest. We'll be taking care of that on stream. It looks like I got to uh, master rank 70 though. That's awesome. But yeah, thank you for joining me on the quest. The Chica was pleased to have been able to sharpen her skills at your side. I know her skills and her intelligence are unquestionable. I'd like to give her the responsibility of leadership. But the younger knights especially are taken aback by her uncharacteristic ferocity in battle. Of course, the more experienced knights simply smile and look on. Master Arlo particularly seems to enjoy it. Nature and until then, I must thank you for having me. Ah, so we will take care of that hunt during a stream, probably next Monday or in the future. I don't know yet. It will happen though. Do not worry. Um, yeah, well, thank you. It will happen though. I do promise that it will happen. Someday soon. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you very much for hanging out with me today. I hope you had a fantastic day. Y'all stay safe, stay behind this cool, subscribe, like, and comment, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.